back to Houston life. Since 1975, the Houston Shakespeare Festival has entertained more than a million people on the green lawn of Miller Outdoor Theater. And this week, it's back with two classic plays showcasing the wide range of William Shakespeare's work. Yeah, here with more on this free festival, actors Laura Fry and Austin Hanna, who will be performing in Macbeth and Much Ado About Nothing. Welcome to you both. Thank, oh, you. thank you. It's so fun having you in studio. We were just chatting about your schooling and life and how you, how you found yourselves right. on the stage. What's it like to be part of the Houston Shakespeare Festival? Because 1975, for many of us, feels like just yesterday. Yeah. It's been around for a long time. Very long time. Um, I, this is my third season with Houston Shakespeare Festival, and I have to say, every time I come back, I do. it, it feels like home. It is a home base for me. It's Houston is where I consider my artistic family to live. Um, actors that I love working with are here. Sometimes I get to work with actors that I've worked with before in previous seasons and then meet a whole new slew of actors that are um, new to the festival and that's exciting. And I met Austin for the first time this year, so. Yeah, it's, I it's a big deal. I have to know, Austin, because Shakespeare is so specific, right? If, if you say a wrong line, people are going to know because they've studied his work for so long. I feel like you have to do a lot of research, a lot of memorizing. How do you keep all of his lingo kind of straight in your head? Yeah, well, you do have to do a lot of researching because the worst thing is if if you don't do that researching and you kind of wing it, then people come away from a performance thinking, oh, Shakespeare doesn't make any sense, it's not for me. But if you find the, the meaning of the words and, and the right way to say them, it can really click in a way that's really um, awesome and, um, and, and interesting. And uh, that's the that's best That's a way great yeah. way to say it, because some of those words might not sound super familiar to us, but once you read about them and figure out what they mean, there you go, right? Mm -hmm. It's also a great summer activity. Young people and families are looking for things to do. It is totally free there at Miller Outdoor Theater. You can sit on the grass totally free. Inside the covered area, you need tickets. Those are also free. We're gonna tell you how to get them. Right. But what's it like for you to be able to connect with audiences in such a public space in Houston? Because for a lot of young people, maybe reading the words of Shakespeare in a classroom is very different than experiencing yes. it it on stage. 100%. I mean, we know as, as Shakespeare actors that Shakespeare intended it to be seen and heard and not sat down and, and read necessarily. Um, so anytime we get to connect with an audience, and it's different out at Miller because you're connecting with those that are right there in front of you, but we, we call it the hill. Mm -hmm. You're connecting all the way up and, and you have so much. Last night we did our tech mm -hmm. and we were saying those lines and there were little kids on the hill that were repeating, that we could hear them Aww. repeating them back to us. And so I, I just love that I, because I mean, the kid, when the kids get it, it, it's pretty magical, you know. So I don't know. Yeah, the energy of that space is really cool. This is my first time at HSF uh, and and being out on that big stage, and it's uh, a larger scale of yeah. Shakespeare performance than I've ever done before, which informs the way I'm using my voice and the way I'm yeah. uh, extending my body, uh, maybe larger than I would in like a tight little black box theater. And it's really yeah. emotional when you see that many people look back at you. It's yeah, I'm I'm excited oh, yeah. for yeah. 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 the first yeah. time. Yeah. Well, okay. for viewers who are going, okay, Houston Shakespeare Festival, what is that? What can we expect to do at the festival this year? Well, you're gonna see two very, very different shows. Okay. We're seeing Macbeth, and then on the other side of that is Shakespeare's comedy, Much Ado About Nothing. They're set in two entirely different worlds. Uh, Demetria Thomas, who is the director for Macbeth, um, she has such a grit about her. She's an incredibly strong woman, and she has brought brought that strength to this production. It's very Game of Thrones or Dungeons oh. and Dragons. It's got this very fantasy-esque element to it. And then Amelia Fisher, who is doing Much Ado About Nothing in the comedy, has such um, a, a very light and, and, and um, floating presence about her and, and a lovely just way about doing a romantic comedy. And it is Shakespeare's romantic comedy. So you're going to get Two sides of yeah, his, his work. There. One night uh, in Macbeth, you'll see a well choreographed, a uh, few well choreographed sword fights mm -hmm. in Much Ado, some well choreographed dancing kind yes. of uh, oh, comedy yeah. tragedy dynamic there. Yeah. And the Just costumes beautiful. look oh, beautiful wow. oh, yeah. as I mean, well. Can yeah. we talk about the accessibility of Shakespeare as well? Because I feel like for a lot of people who are maybe not that familiar, maybe we have flashbacks to school and like, oh my gosh, it seems so right. exhausting and academic. And what are they saying? You guys are doing something really cool. Before the shows, there's actually a 
Q&A mm -hmm. where audience members can ask questions yeah. uh, and staff can essentially yeah. showcase what to look out for during the shows. Yes, absolutely. Um, Rob Shimko, who is is over the um, Shakespeare Festival, he does a Q&A with the audience, uh, allowing them to ask questions, but also reminding them that Shakespeare, he was a humanist. He, he, he is commenting on human nature, and for better or for worse, human nature has not changed over the years. So when an audience can kind of sit back and go, okay, we know greed, we know jealousy, we know love, right. we know all of these things because we've experienced them, then they feel a little more connected to the piece up there and can go, I relate to that. Yeah, and I've done it. Hopefully uh, not my character, but. Oh, well, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've done a bit of work um, w with kids uh, um, teaching and performing Shakespeare, and I found that like uh, kids are really able to get those big human emotions really quickly, uh, and so it, it gives me hope that that anyone can find the really good stuff mm -hmm. in it if. Uh, um, if you if you can get past the uh, uh, torturous uh, uh, language at first, yes, um, it's it's all right there, and yeah. anyone can enjoy it. Yeah. And I do encourage people to come to those talk sessions because it makes for an amazing evening. But also, we stay for the post credit scenes at the end of Marvel movies. This is your pre pre credit, there you go. right? It's perfect. It is more accessible than first meets the eye. Yes. Let's Absolutely. just say that. If you have not exposed yourself to Shakespeare, you will love it. So we want to let our viewers know the Houston Shakespeare Festival runs starting tomorrow, Thursday, July 27th, through Saturday, August 5th at Miller Outdoor Theater. Performance begin performances rather begin at 8:15 p.m. and it is free to attend. And remember, before the show, the talk will precede each show at 7:45 p.m. Absolutely. And as always, there is seating on the grass. Hill, where you can just show up and grab a spot. And for the covered audience area, you will need to reserve those free tickets, which become available at 10 a.m. the day before the performances. For a link to get yours, you can visit the scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. So Lauren and Austin, this is the good news. They are staying with us because when we come back, we're going to be answering a very important question. <laughs> To be. To or not to be. Wow. Okay. <laughs> We're going to be flexing our acting muscles and giving a Shakespearean twist to some classic songs in a fun challenge. Uh oh. Fine. Houston Life will be right back. We might be very bad at this. Yes. We will be very. Welcome back to Houston Life. And since we are joined by two of the stars of Houston's Shakespeare Festival, Laura Fry and Austin Hanna, we figured that they could help us brush up on our acting skills. What if we don't have acting skills to begin with, though? No, I'm so we're going to be acting out lyrics from popular 90s songs, but using the styles, themes, and language to embody the one and only William Shakespeare as best we can. Laura will team up with me. Lauren will be teaming up with Austin. Okay. And that's all right. the start. All right. Also, each team has up to 30 seconds to prepare and perform each of the lyrics. We've got props right here. And at the end, our team in the control room will decide who thou art have performed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> the first team to go is Team Darren. Excuse me. Okay. So we have cards right in here. Yep. That we will, um, I'm going to read the very first one. Do we have a timer for 30 seconds on okay. the clock? As soon as I... As soon as I read this. So the quote is, near, far, wherever you are, I believe that the heart does go on. My heart will go on. Celine Dion. Okay. Um, Let's see what they're picking. Okay. okay. Our right. time is already going. Oh, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> Neareth, fareth, my love, wherefore out thou thee. <laughs> Thou art. art. Wherefore art thou, my love? Art, art thou nearest or far? Here I am. Here I am. My heart will go on to me. There you are. Our hearts doth hath gone on. Doth. Hath gone oh. wow. That was 30 seconds. Okay, that's it. That was first actually round. really good. Okay. Oh. You were great. Austin. We can take them. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right. Lauren and Austin. All right, all right, all right. We're going to need another 30 seconds on the clock. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Oh, I've heard this <laughs> one before. Okay, Austin, do you want to read it, read it out loud? Oh, sure, just the straight just, lyric. Here's our lyric. Oh, yep. We're working with okay. Tell Me Why, I Never Want to Hear You Say, I Want It That, <laughs> that Way. Okay, yes. there oh, we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is absolutely uh, a little Backstreet Boys. Here we go. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Okay, all right. Tell me why. <laughs> Tell me why! I never want to hear you say, 
I want it. That way. That it, way? No. Oh, oh, this way? This way. <laughs> no. <gasps> that <Wow>. way! <laughs> okay, next round, coming up. Wow. Okay, <laughs> our turn, Laura. I'm nervous, okay. Don't tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart. <laughs> I just don't think he'd understand. Okay, are you ready for this? I'm ready. Don't thou tell my heart. <laughs> tell me. My achy, breaky Please heart. Please tell me, my love. I just don't. Thou art mine. Understand. And you must tell <laughs> if my heart is not to ache or break. Thou must not break thy heart. So please, please tell me, my love, so my heart doth not breaketh or acheth this deep, beloved heart of mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the ukulele is where it all goes wrong. Good job. All right, Austin, I feel, I feel like we're gonna have a little bit of uh, catching up to do here. Oh, oh gosh. The to topical, this one. <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm a Barbie girl <laughs> in a Barbie world. Life in plastic, it's fantastic. Okay, I definitely think this is appropriate. Okay. Okay. I am a Barbie girl. In I the, think. I think I'm a Barbie girl. In a Barbie world. Life in plastic. Is it fantastic? If I think it is fantastic. Would this make it more fantastical? Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh, no, 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 no! Please share. Please share. <laughs> this is fantastic. And see. <laughs> Oh. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. That's a rough one. Right. Okay, we have got to the last round. We are bringing this home. We are bringing it home, Laura. We can do this. Okay, the fat. third one. The best thing about being a woman is the prerogative <laughs> to have a little fun. <laughs> Shania Twain. Okay. All right. The best um, thing about being a woman. Is this like an abominable <laughs> snowman? What is this? Listen. Are you, who's the woman? <laughs> You are. This is supposed to be a tragedy, I think. It is. Mm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, my microphone. Where doth that woman that is the best of women? Thou art the woman. It is me. The best thing about being me is simply being me. Do you have a prerogative? <laughs> Perhaps. I just wanted to have a little fun. <laughs> wow. My heart is broken. <laughs> that was right. Oh, that was really this is a tragedy, shit. Austin. This might be tough for us. Okay. Let's okay. See. Okay. This is so weird. Uh, <laughs> I <laughs> like it. Hanging out the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying, trying to holler at, at me. me. Red Bull TLC. Okay, right. 30 hmm. seconds on the okay. clock. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's see here. Okay. Hey, friend. Passenger side is on the other side. Oh, this oh, side? Yes, please prepare yourself on this side. <clears throat> please. Holla! <laughs> Holla! Holla from over here, please. Holla! Passenger side! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Passenger side! <laughs> this is wow, bad. bravo! It keeps changing. It's bravo. getting better. Wow, okay. Uh, well, that Laura and really Austin, fine. thank you so much. That was amazing. Thank you. Uh, how are we going to determine these results here? I okay. mean, I think there were clear winners. <laughs> you and I were not the winner. I think it was Austin and Laura, but we oh, do absolutely. have our very official judges standing by in our control room. Uh, what is the verdict? Team Lauren. Oh, we have two votes for Team Lauren, one wow. for Team Derek. Lauren wow. Kelly and Austin, oh, congratulations. Wow, look oh, at thank this. You. Oh, thank we you. We have prepared this special winner's plaque for you, also known as Cardboard, uh -huh. uh, with the logo oh, my on My favorite. It. Wow, uh, Laura, amazing. Great job. It was so <laughs> fun. Thank you guys Thanks. so much. <laughs> Don't forget to catch them at the Houston Sa uh, Shakespeare Festival starting tomorrow through August 5th at Miller Outdoor Theater. You can find more info on our website at HoustonLife.tv.
passenger oh. side. <laughs> All right, that was fun. Thanks, y'all. We'll see you at the theater. Very, very nice and super weird.